Here's an assignment, Canvas Inbox Check. The assignment asks students to send a message via Canvas. It doesn't require any file submission, so the speed grader isn't going to be terribly useful here. Go directly to the gradebook by clicking Grades in the left navigation bar. You'll see all the assignments and all the students. This course doesn't have very many of either. For Canvas Inbox Check, select one of the dashes where you want to enter a score and type it in. You can use the up and down arrows to move among the students. Let's fill in some scores and there are a couple of people who haven't submitted anything yet. Everyone else has gotten two points. Let's say someone turns in the assignment late. Click the arrow next to total points and a sidebar opens up where you can enter the score, one point, and say that it's late by two days. From this sidebar, you can also go to the speed grader. You can move among the assignments for that student, or you can move among students by using their left and right arrows. Click the X to close the sidebar. If you're making the transition from an in-person course to a remote learning course, you might be wondering how you can get these grades into the spreadsheet that you normally use for grading. Click Actions and choose Export. The previous export that you see here is one I did a few hours ago for testing. Then the browser will prompt you to either save the file or open it in an application. And there's the data, ready for you to copy and paste into your current grading system. That's what you need to know to use the Canvas Gradebook.